Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ivy B with Ivy B Creates. Hello to my new subscribers and to my followers that's been following me for a while. Thank you guys for being patient and hanging in there with me. So tonight's tutorial is going to be a waffle stitch washcloth. I'm on 365 washcloths and this is tutorial number three. What I'm going to be using is a size six millimeter hook. It's a J10 and I'm going to be using Crafters Secret Cotton. It is 100% cotton and it's a number four and it is about 95 yards. We're not going to use all 95 yards. We're probably not going to, you could probably get about two, maybe three washcloths out of that. So, the um, waffle stitch pattern is consists of three sti chains, stitches, plus four. So, I went ahead and did 27 chains. So, now I'm going to add four more. So that would be 28, 29, 30, and 31. And we will work in the back bumps. So here's your front. Here's your front. If you turn it over to the side like that, you see those back bumps? Camel bumps. That's what I call them, little camel bumps. That's what we're going to be working in. And we're going to work into the third one. So there's one right there, there's two, and there's three. We are going to do a double crochet in the third back bump and in each stitch across. So to do a double crochet is yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now that we got the base one there, let's do that again. Yarn over, into the stitch, pull up a loop, with a yarn over, draw through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. And I'll do one more with you. It's yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over, go through two. And we're going to do that all the way down to our very first one. So go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, I'm down here at my last bump and I am going to put yarn over, go into the bump, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, now we're going to start the stitch pattern and the stitch pattern is in multiples of three. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and turn our work. And right off the bat, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So we're not gonna do this one because we've got the chain two that makes up for this stitch here. Your front post double crochet will be right here under the second double crochet. So we will yarn over, go in between these two stitches, go in between, push up that double crochet, yarn over, pull through the double underneath that double crochet. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. That is a front post double crochet. 
Then we're going to do a double crochet, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So do a double crochet in this stitch, and a double crochet into this stitch. So this double crochet goes with this double crochet, this double crochet goes with this double crochet. So we're going to front post around this double crochet. So we're going to wrap around, go in between these two stitches, push up the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two another front post double crochet. So now we're going back to a double crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one double crochet. And here's two double crochets. The third is going to be a front post double crochet. You're just doing a double crochet around the post. Then we're going back to one double crochet, two double crochet, and the third is around front post around that stitch. Okay. We're going to finish that sequence, which is double crochet, double crochet, front post. Double crochet, double crochet, front post. Continue that until the last two stitches, and I will meet up with you then. Okay, we're done here to the end. We have two, st two stitches left. We are going to front post around the next stitch. It's right here. Do a front post there and on the last stitch we are going to do a double crochet. If I can get it in there. There you go. Do a double crochet. Okay. So you should be having a uh, double a chain three there, but it's a double crochet, a front post double crochet, two double crochets, front post two, front post two double crochets, front post two, and you will have that all the way down. Now the waffle stitch is a two row repeat, so we're going to do our bow double crochet, which is turn your work, stitch Put your hook into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, turn sideways and go through that second stitch, yarn over and go through two stitches, two chains. Alright, I'll do that again with you so that you can see. So, let's go into your stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first chain on your hook, yarn over, turn, go through the second chain on your hook, yarn over and go through two and it looks just like a double crochet so basically what you see is what you're going to repeat so here is a um, double crochet and it's in the back, so we're going to leave that in the back. So we're just going to put a double crochet on top of that. 
So work a double crochet on top of that double crochet. And these two are in the front. If you turn it over, they're in the back. If you turn it this way, they're in the front. So we're going to front post around those two. So last one we did a double crochet. This one we're going to do front post around both of those stitches. Front post, front post. So that's sitting in the back. So we're going to do a double crochet. These two are sitting up front. So we're going to do a front post around them. There's one front post and another front post. So there's one sitting in the back back there. And it's in the back because there's the ridge right there. So it's in the back. These are um, in the front, so we're going to front post. So here we go, that's in the back, so we're going to put a double crochet into that back. These are in the front. Let's do a front post around these two. So the stitch pattern for this row is a double crochet two front posts, a double crochet, two front posts, double crochet, two front posts. And we will continue that all the way to the end. All right, this is what we have so far. I'm down here to my last two stitches. And remember, we have to mirror what we have done here. And we started off with a bow double crochet and a regular double crochet. So that's what we're going to end with down here. We did a two front post. So now we're going to do two double crochets. Because that's in the back and we're going to end with a double crochet. Now we're going to repeat the same stitch pattern that we did down here. All right. So what you see is what you're going to do again. So this was a front post right here. So we're going to front post around that. You have two that's sitting in the back back there. So those are going to get double crochets. Here is your front post. You're going to front post around that. And you have two in the back, one in the front, two in the back, one in the front. It's the same, um, same two steps that you're going to do on reverse. If it is, if you see them raised in the front, you're going to put a front post around them. So I'm going to go ahead and do this row with you again to show you row one again. So I'm going to turn my work. And I am going to put my hook into that stitch. I'm going to draw up a stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, turn to the side, go through the second loop that's on your hook, yarn over, and go through both on your hook. Okay. So right off the bat, we have a front loop. So we're going to do a front loop, double crochet. And as you can see, these two stitches here are has a bar, so they're behind. So that means those are double crochets. So there's a double crochet there and a double crochet there. 
there's a front loop there. So we're going to do a front loop around the front loop. That scared me. And do two double crochets there. So that's all you're going to do with this row. So continue that all the way to the end and I will be back with the last two stitches. Okay, and this is what it looks like so far. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay, we're down here to the end now. And at the beginning here, we had a bow double crochet and a front post double crochet. So we need to mirror the same thing on this end. So it would be, because that's in the front, we're going to do a front post double crochet and a double crochet here. So there you go. You finish that. I got a knot there, but that's okay. That's on the end. All right. So now you have two rows of your waffle stitch. Here's one, there's two. So you're going to repeat row two and row three over and over. And I'll be right back and tell you how many that I have done. But I'll get you started on this next row. So we're going to turn inward. We're going to put our hook in the stitch. We're going to draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through one. Yarn over, turn slightly sideways and go through the second stitch. Yarn over and go through two. Okay. So right off the bat, this is in the back because it's behind the bar. So we're going to do a double crochet there. And these two are in the front, so we're going to put a front post around each one of them. So front post double crochet and a front post double crochet. So continue this pattern, which is a double crochet and two front post double crochets. And that is the pattern. You will repeat these two rows until you get the desired square that you want for your washcloth. I'm not sure how many rows I will need, but I will get back with you when I have finished the rows that I need. All right, see you then. Alrighty, welcome back. And let's finish up this washcloth. I did a grand total of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen rows. So what I'm going to do with this one is just do a single crochet around. And I will chain one and I'm going to turn and we're just going to do a single crochet in this very first stitch and in each stitch around. So I'm going to get down here to the end on this and see what I want to do. I don't know if I want to put three in the corner or a single crochet chain one in the corner. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what it looks like when I get there. Like I said, these washcloths are nothing fancy. They're just washcloths for the house. You can make them fancy if you want to, if you're selling them at craft fairs or um, in your Etsy store. So let's finish this up. I 
I know on the side that I might have to do two double crochets, I mean two single crochets in each stitch. I'm not sure. Let's get let's just get to the end here. All right, here we are down here on the end. So let's try a let's do one single crochet, a chain one, and turn around and put another single crochet. Let's try that. And then right beside it in the double crochet. I don't want to go around because that's going to make a hole and I don't want that. So if you can, work yourself into two legs. Put two legs on your hook like that. And that won't leave a big old hole in the side there. So, I'm going to put two in the same stitch, get two legs on there, and I'm going to put two single crochets in that same stitch. I may have to get down here to the end and, and take some out. Matter of fact, let's not do that. I want to do, sorry about that guys. So we put two in this one. Let's just put one in this one. Okay. Then in this one, let's put two. There's one. And there's two. And put one in this one. And put two in this one. You can go in that little stitch right there where there's an opening. You could put one there. And then go in there where there's another opening. So that was two, so we're going to put one. And then we're going to put two. Whoops. One. And two, okay, and that's all we're going to do around. So continue doing one and two. And in the corner put a single crochet, a chain one, and a single crochet. And then along the bottom side put a single crochet in there. And continue that all the way around and slip stitch into, put a single crochet, a chain one, and slip stitch and tie it off and you have a washcloth. So I'm going to continue this and then I'll show you at the end. Okay, so I just finished my slip stitch in my single crochet on the back side. I think what I want to do is chain one and turn and do a single crochet for the front side. So a single crochet is just yarn uh, into the stitch. 
into the stitch, pull up, yarn over, and go through two. Into the stitch, drop a loop, pull through, yarn over, go through two. So that's all I'm going to do on this, is do a single crochet all the way around, but it's going to be on the front side this time. So that's all you're gonna that's all I'm gonna do. You can do whatever you want to do with yours. Single crochet all the way around. I'm putting a single crochet chain one in the corners over here. Single crochet chain one and a single crochet and the same thing there and go back and tie it off. That's all I'm gonna do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward into seeing your washcloths especially this one. Tell me how this uh, video is, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!